everybody had been talking about Obi Moore. His name sounded a little weird. It was a mere guy. We all went to Pasadena High School, so it was a problem for us. You're talking about a guy who, who was number one since he was nine years old at every level. When he ran in Australia, the whole stadium was Obi, 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 Obi. Top five in the 100, top five in the 200, national leader in the 400, top five in the 800. I was like, who is this guy and how can he run all these events? This is unbelievable. Well, he was just a great, great high school 400 runner. Could have been probably the greatest of all time. I really blacked out that night. Now when I came to in the morning, looked at the bloody wall, I started preparing myself for the funeral. Well, I know he come up through a bad neighborhoods and bad home life, but it looked to me like he was gonna be okay. I don't know what got him going backwards. Because I've heard a lot of really bad things. I hope they aren't true, but I don't know. And on the track now is race number 491, the high school boys 4x400 four championship of America. It was what happened back then that paved the way for his induction tonight. When I fell off, the whole team fell apart because you're manipulating everybody. That carnival record was highlighted by this gentleman's final split, and that equaled the fastest high school led ever run at the relays. I think that was the beginning of the end. I was down on the infield with one of the all-time high school greats, Obi Moore, who 18 years ago set this track on fire with his team, John Muir. You came in here and lit this joint up two years in a row, John Muir. It ain't been the same since. That's Obi Moore. Look how grown he is. I really felt like I was supposed to be the fastest man on the planet and be on the Wheaties box. But the Obi Moore that you're talking about is dead. Well, I'm glad I was able to tell my story because uh, I don't think it's, it's really been told.